Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm back at you with another Ableton Live video tutorial. This is an answer to a question I got that I figured everybody else might benefit from. And that is how to add the XY pad controller to Ableton Live device. The last tutorial I did covered how to add it to third party devices. It could be effects or instruments. And it's actually pretty simple. You just click down here and choose two parameters from the menu. And now as I move this little ball around the XY coordinates, you can see that the two deface parameters up here are changing, they're moving. So all the way up for both of them, all the way down, you know, just one, just the other, this type of thing. It could be very beneficial. Uh, by the way, in that tutorial, I also showed you how to add these parameters to the uh, drop down menu if there aren't any, if it says none down here and it's just blanked out, you can't control anything. I showed you how to configure that with any VST so that it works for you. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it for an Ableton Live device. So if I come in here and drop ping pong, you can see that I don't have the option to add an XY control. But if you have Max for Live, you have the XY pad, which is the same thing. And all you have to do is hit map and then the parameter you want to adjust and map the other parameter you want to adjust. And now you can see as I move this ball around, those parameters get grayed out, but the values are still changing depending on where the dot is inside of this XY pad. And you can get some really cool results. So that's how you do it. I hope that made sense. Really simple. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.